Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear student. Uh, for today's topic uh, is Muslim scientists and their contribution. This is uh, lecture number four. So uh, here are enlisted uh, a few famous uh, Muslim uh, scientists of the past. Uh, the first one that is Jabir bin Hayyan. That is uh, from uh, 721 to 1815 AD. Uh, he was born in Iraq and uh, practiced medicine also, uh, sorry, uh, in Iraq and he was born in Iran. Uh, for the first time, uh, he introduced experimental chemistry. Uh, before uh, uh, Jabir bin Hayyan, a chemistry was just uh, limited to observation, but for the first time, he introduced uh, experimental chemistry. <coughs> uh, there are two books uh, of Jabir uh, bin Hayyan. Al Nabatat that was about uh, plant uh, and Al Hewan that was about animal. Uh, he was also an expert of uh, pharmacy that is called pharmacist, also physician, philosopher and also he was an engineer. The next uh, scientist that is Abdul Malik Asma 740 to 1822 AD that is the, his duration. Uh, he was born in Basra. Uh, he was regarded a uh, specialist of uh, animal sciences, uh, so he was uh, basically a zoologist. Uh, he uh, wrote some uh, books. Uh, the first one that is Al Khil that was about horses, Al Abel that was about camel, Al Shah that is about sheep, Al Wahush that was about wild animal, Khalak uh, al Insan that uh, this book was uh, about. Uh, human being in this book he uh, discusses uh, different parts uh, structure and function of the human body. Uh, the next uh, scientist uh, Muslim scientist that was Bu Ali Sina uh, 1980 to uh, 1037 AD. Uh, he was born uh, near Bukhara. Uh, he had a valuable contribution in the field of medicine. But uh, he was also uh, expert in the field of mathematics, physics, and paleontology. Uh, he described the structure and function of the human eye. Uh, book uh, Al Kanun Fil uh, Tib uh, that was about medicine. Uh, and the next uh, scientist uh, that is Abu Usman Umar Al Hijaz, uh, 776 to 869 AD. Uh, his famous book was Al Hewan, uh, and in this uh, book uh, he described his personal observation of animal uh, such as seasonal migration of fish in river Tigris. Uh, he also described the life cycle of an ant that was an insect, so he was also an entomologist. Uh, the next uh, scientist that is uh, that was. Uh, Abdul Qasim al Zahrawi, 19, uh, oh sorry, 936 to 1004 AD. He was a famous uh, for the removal of stone for urinary bladder. So, for the first time, he removed the stone from a urinary bladder. Uh, the next scientist that was uh, uh, Ibn al Haytham, 965 to 1039 AD, uh, he was the most outstanding biologist of the Muslim world during this duration and he was an ophthalmologist, ophthalmologist I mean uh, eye specialist, expert of the eye. Uh, he corrected the Greek concept of vision uh, location retina as the site of uh, vision. Uh, in Greek uh, philosophy there were some uh, uh, conclusion that uh, uh, vision or uh, you can say uh, image that is formed in this place, but he corrected that that place is wrong. Actually, the uh, image is formed on the retina, and the modern science, today's science, also support that uh, theory that image is formed on the retina. So, for the first time. 
uh, he discussed that. Uh, there are two books of uh, Ibn al Haytham, Kitab al Manazir and uh, Mizan al Hikma. Uh, these book, uh, books were translated into different uh, European uh, Western language, Greek, Latin, etc. Uh, the next uh, Muslim scientist that was Ali bin Isa, 940 to 1010 AD, that was his duration. Uh, he was uh, also a well-known eye specialist. He worked on the structure and function and diseases of the human eye. He described almost 130 different diseases in his book. Uh, the next scientist, uh, Ibn al-Nafis, 1213 to 1288 uh, AD, uh, he was uh, a very famous biologist of the 13th century. Uh, for the first time, he described the circulation of the blood in the human body. So, these were the few uh, Muslim uh, scientists of the past time. And this was the end of lecture number 4 of unit 1. Thank you.